Hi everyone, uh, today we have a new uh, cargo work numerical for you guys. Um, if you have uh, Captain Errol Fernandez's uh, cargo work numerical, then you may find this question in that book. It's uh, I think the very first exercise and it's question number five from that exercise. So this is for the benefit of those who are using that book to study cargo work numericals. So here is the solved uh, or the solution to the cargo work question. So the question is that uh, there is a hold 8 by 6 by 4 meter which is to be filled with a steel pipes uh, with a storage factor of 1.06 metric cube per ton and uh, paint drums with a storage factor of 1.85 metric cube per ton uh, if the load density of the tank top is 3.20 ton per metric square uh, up to what height should the steel be loaded so that the hold is filled without exceeding the load density so this is the first thing that you have to find out uh, and the second thing you have to find out is how many tons of steel pipes and paint drums can be loaded uh, on the cargo uh, or the cargo hold rather right so if you are familiar with the meaning of the terms used in this question that's fantastic otherwise i can just tell you that uh, uh, we have the volume or the rather the dimensions of the cargo hold given to you and then we have the storage factor so what is storage factor storage factor is the volume that is occupied by a unit weight of cargo all right so it is a volume that is occupied by a unit weight of cargo so if i consider this to be the cargo hold and uh, i consider a unit um, of uh, in this case of course it's pain drums so a uh, unit weight uh, or a volume of the unit weight so volume occupied by unit weight so if uh, the pain drums uh, are in a, a kind of a pallet uh, so that one pallet will be a unit weight of the cargo and if it and the and the volume occupied by those pain drums if they are in a pallet uh, this is the storage factor all right so in comparison if i have a few pallets loaded here in the cargo hold then the space between that is the broken storage although they have not mentioned anything about the broken storage here i just thought i'll throw in that term to uh, explain the meaning so this is the volume occupied uh, by a unit weight so it depends on what a unit weight how a unit weight is packaged here i'm just assuming they were in a pallets because that's how pain drums normally come they don't come in drums but um, this just to understand the meaning so this is the storage factor of a cargo all right so let's get started with solving the question here so like i said we have been given the dimensions of the cargo hold so we can find the cargo hold volume there so cargo hold volume cargo hold volume so i've decided to solve these questions together with you guys uh, and that will make it easy for you to follow uh, what i do and why i do it all right so cargo hold volume will be given by 8 by 6 by 4 now all this is in meters so it's very important that you make a note of these uh, units uh, because what is in meter what is in tons what is in kilograms these things are very important when you are solving cargo work numericals so 8 by 6 by 4 is 192 metric cube this is the cargo hold volume all right what else is given uh, we have been given the load density all right so load density is 3.2 uh, tons per metric square so load density that is given to us is uh, 3.2 tons per metric square all right so that means um, if the cargo hold area so cargo hold area cargo hold area of cargo hold rather or cargo hold area is given by 8 by 6 all right because 8 is the length 6 is the breadth 4 is of course the height of the cargo hold so 8 by 6 meters all right so 8 by 6 meters and uh, that would be 48 metric square that is the cargo hold area now if you can load 3.2 tons per metric square that means what is the maximum cargo that you can load so maximum cargo that can be loaded will be given by area so what is that 3.2 tons per metric square so if 3.2 tons per metric square we have 48 metric square so what is the maximum you can load is 153.6 tons so that is the maximum cargo you can load without exceeding the load density so beyond that of course the it is assumed that the uh, deck will buckle under that much of load all right uh, so if we keep going 
we'll have so let's assume so we have to find out the paint drums and the uh, steel pipes that can be loaded so let uh, steel pipes or steel pipes let steel pipes uh, weight be equal to x and let paint drums weight uh, how many tons isn't it that's what they're asking how many uh, tons of steel pipe so by all right so that means if i can load 153.6 tons the maximum x plus y should be equal to 153.6 tons all right x is the maximum um, x is the weight of the steel pipes and y is the weight of the paint drums all right other than that we have also been given the uh, storage factor of each cargo so storage factor of each cargo is given to us so if x is the maximum weight of the cargo then x by the storage factor x by the storage factor that is x by uh, 1.06 x by 1 point so both of them look like x so i have to differentiate it uh, otherwise you guys will get confused x uh, by storage factor plus y by its own storage factor will be equal to the total cargo hold volume which is 192 metric cube right this is 10 this is metric cube so that will be x by 106 so 1.06 x plus 1.85 y is equal to 192 metric cube all right so that is the uh, second equation so we have equation number one and we have equation number two so how can i equate this equation how can i make it equal so if i have x plus y equals 153.6 that is equation number one i have 1.06 x plus 1.85 y equals 192 these are the two equations so how can i make one of these x's equal by multiplying the whole thing by 1.06 you can also multiply the whole equation by 1.85 which will make the y equal in both equations but here i'm choosing to make the x equal so if i multiply uh, this whole equation then this becomes um, 1.06 x plus 1.06 y equals um, 153.6 multiplied by 1.06 which is equal to 162.82 all right so now i will uh, i will focus on these two equations all right so if i equate on these two equations uh, 1.06 and 1.06 uh, cancel out if i subtract so i'm subtracting one equation from the other this becomes 0 0.79 y equals to uh, 29.18 all right so i've subtracted each one from the other so that means y equals 36.9 tons or let's round it off to 37 tons because i think that is the answer in the book and then uh, if uh, i can load a total of x plus y was supposed to be 153.6 and if i know y now so x will be equal to 153.6 minus y which is equal to 153.6 minus 37 tons which is equal to 116.6 tons or you can round it off to 117 if you want to uh, maybe that's the answer in the book all right, so I have found out how much weight I can load. Now I have to find out up to what height I can load the steel pipes. So how do I do that? So I can do that by, um, so if I know the weight, which is 116.6 tons, I can find out the volume occupied by the steel pipe. So you see in the equation here, uh, this is the volume occupied by the steel pipes, this, this value here. So uh, mass multiplied by storage factor gives you the volume. That's why I added the two volumes and I equated it to the total volume of the cargo hold available. All right. So mass by storage factor equals the volume. So volume occupied by steel pipes will be equal to mass of the steel pipe that I can load 116.6 multiplied by the storage factor 1.06. And that will give me the volume 123.6. Uh, six zero metric cube is the volume that okay, occupied that will be occupied by the steel pipes based on the mass of it being loaded so therefore height up to which steel pipes can be loaded equals 
वॉल्यूम ऑक्यूपाइड बाय स्टील कागो राइट डिवाइडेड बाय द एरिया ऑफ कागो होल्ड All right, because the length and the breadth are going to be uh, filled up anyway. The only variable that will be remaining is the height. So when I start loading the steel pipes, I will fill up the cover up the entire length and the breadth, but it's only the height that will be the variable here, right? So one two three point five nine six or one two three point six zero rather. Uh, I had rounded it off for you guys, so I don't want to confuse you guys. One two three point six zero is the volume occupied by steel cargo, and area of cargo hold will be given by eight by six. So the answer will be about two point. Uh, 5 7 meters so that is the maximum height up to which the steel pipes will be loaded based on the um, weight of the steel pipes and the stowage factor of the steel pipes all right so it's a pretty straightforward question actually if you understand the meaning of uh, stowage factor and if you understand the relationship between stowage factor and the mass and how it equates to the volume and what does uh, having a load density in the given in the question mean to you so that's why i said make a note of the units when i say the load density is 3.20 tons per metric square what does that mean so these are simple um, terms that you should understand to solve the cargo numericals i will put a more videos in future that will help you with your learning and practicing these questions in case these questions come in the exam uh, it will also help you solve them all right all the best with your studies guys and uh, please let me know through your feedback what do you think about these videos and how we can improve it